All right, Pony Prepper Bill, this is test footage of my Army medical chest that I bought that's a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Right, this is Bunny Prepper Bill. Today I wanted to show you something I got, another thing I got from Coleman's Military. Uh, for the longest time I've been wanting to get this medical chest with drawers that goes into the ambulance. And I almost had one, but the guy wanted too much money for it. It's an insert. It's a chest with drawers that's metal and plastic that goes into a, another metal case. People want a lot of money for them and I just thought it would be good to keep all my medical supplies in the ambulance. But then I was thinking, we got all this medical supplies and, you know, bandages and medication and creams and ointments and scissors and every time we're looking for something, some stuff's in this drawer, some stuff's in another room in a cabinet, and there's stuff in this medicine cabinet, and you can never find what you're looking for. So I thought if I bought one of these and kept it in the house, it's got all these drawers and compartments you can keep like all your medication together and all your like your burn creams and burn ointments and you know eye stuff and whatever keep it all together in one chest so online I'm finding used ones for like four hundred dollars hundred and fifty dollars plus shipping and stuff well Coleman's military I found they used to have it but they were more expensive and then they were out of stock I found them, and I think they're supposedly used in good condition, $35, I think. I jumped on it. It was 35 bucks, but the weight, I didn't know how heavy this thing was. I just thought it was light plastic that went into, you know, the travel case, you know, that's like bulletproof to put in the ambulance, military grade. Well, the shipping on this thing was $60. So it cost me like a hundred bucks to buy this thing shipped. And when I got it, it's heavy as b It's 56 pounds, empty. So I'm going to have to rethink <laughs> uh, my planning. If I fill this up with all my stuff, there's no way to move this thing. Even if I put it in a case, it's, unless I left it in the ambulance, it'd be fine. So, I'm going to show it to you. It, it, it's, it's brand new. It's uh, instrument and supply set chest. Uh, the date is 4 of 2006, and it's brand new, double boxed. Goddamn, this thing is heavy as hell. Uh. Alright. Can you see it? There's the top. It's got this top drawer. It's got the plastic windows, it's clear. It's got plenty of room in here. Then all these are all numbered. All these little dividers come out if you want to put different stuff in them. But there's like seven of those or six of those. I mean, these are all, they all got different sizes, and, oop, I'll push that through. But this thing is, <laughs> so, 
I'm gonna have to do some rethinking. It's, this thing is like over 50 pounds empty and it's a shame because I had the case that this went into. Uh, you know, it fits in like two or three different military uh, cases with latches and stuff. And I had a couple of them different sizes and I think I had the one that, that this fit in. But I got rid of them. I think I gave one away and sold one to somebody that needed it for something. But uh, <sighs> Coleman's has them. Uh, different conditions from like 60 bucks to 100 bucks plus shipping. It's too much money. So I'll keep going looking at, uh, you know, maybe a couple of my friends or something got one for sale. But I'm going to have to rethink the, uh, the, uh, the weight of this thing. I mean, it's built pretty good. Uh, it's not really meant to be moved around. It's meant to be in that case. But if I keep it on a table in my bedroom or in the hallway or something where everything's easily accessible, uh, I think it'll work out good. But as far as transporting it, it's too heavy. And you got to be careful that the drawers are going to fall out when you're moving it up and down steps or putting it in your truck. And if you lay it down, they'll probably fall out. But it, it's, it's, got, it's pretty strong, pretty, pretty heavy duty. Black Hawk helicopters again. So once I get this, uh, we're doing stuff to the bedrooms. Once I get this up and get it filled up, I'll uh, update you on the video on that. And uh, somebody was asking about the inside pig. You know that you know they see Mui a lot, which he was out here yesterday sleeping out in the driveway in the sun. And the, nobody, a couple of people asked, they never see the inside pig. Want to know if we still have them? And we still have them. Uh, we've got Mui outside and Diddy inside. And he used to chase me, and he doesn't like me. Well, he don't like people. But he chased me into the, cornered me in the kitchen a couple of times. And that was on one of my videos. Uh, but now he doesn't really go off the carpet. He stays, so you can put your foot out and he'll chase you. And once you get to, off the carpet, he won't go any further. But today, he went in the kitchen. And there's shit blowing all over today. I heard something crash. Well, that was out front or not. Got Black Hawk helicopters flying around as usual. At night, the big military planes, two, three at a time, between 6.30 and 10 o'clock at night, two and three at a time, the whole house rumbles. <laughs> it's, I don't know what's going on. But last night, it was like, uh, well, it was this morning, like three or four o'clock this morning. There must have been three, and then another three. Once those three would pass, and you hear another three, the whole house is shaking and rumbling. So that's what I got for this. I'll throw a quick video of uh, the pigs in here, and I'll get back to you when I get this in the house. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.